coronavirus has affected as we are not going to churches and I saw one of the leaders say if we have opened <coughs> hotels and other areas then we need to reopen our churches but anyway when you go to churches remember the church that you worship in how many people do you uh, congregate in a given service that particular one hour 30 minutes compared to a hotel where you just walk in when the needs arise I mean about uh, the stomach, when the stomach asks for something, you walk into a hotel. So we can't really compare. We're trying to fight coronavirus. And there has been a lot of politics going around. We have seen a uh, change of guards. We have seen uh, what people have been uh, have been doing. And just like I, we said the other day, we are in an era of house of cards. Everyone is holding their cards close to your, to their hearts. You don't know what will happen. And uh, right about now, we want to delve into uh, politics kidogo, uh, see how things have been happening and what they mean and what we are looking forward to. Later on, I'll be speaking to Pastor Mangeti. Actually, he's right in the studio, but uh, the interview is coming uh, in a few minutes from now. We'll be talking about spiritual health. Keep tuned. But for now, I'm with Cyrus, a little political analyst. Let's put things into perspective on what is happening. Cyrus, how are you? Happy um, Madaraka Day. Happy Madaraka Day. I'm very fine. I think mm -hmm. our freedom of, of, of worship uh, compared to what is happening right now in the political cycles, mm -hmm. I think we should just uh, allow the churches to go on. Churches will manage themselves better mm -hmm. than how politicians are managing themselves in the, uh, the social environment. Mm -hmm. You saw what happened in, uh, in, in Kajado, Tengel at Atoli's home the other day. Mm -hmm. You saw even the press, uh, the, the politicians were giving the other day when uh, the <laughs> NASA fraternity at the mm -hmm. parliament mm -hmm. were, were, were changing the, the, the leadership, uh, the parliamentary leadership in the, in, the, in, the, in the parliament the other day, how the people mingle even without putting on the mask. Mm -hmm. But when you run trying to jog like the guys in Kisumu, you then you are arrested. So there's no freedom. Impunity. It's there's impunity. At its highest level. Uh, yeah, there has been Thank an outcry on the, on the <laughs> social media about the, the, the whole of uh, this thing. Uh, they defy the cessation of movement. I don't know what that is, but anyway. Who is the king of Mulembe? And I've always <laughs> said, and I will continue saying, mm -hmm. Mulembe will never have a king. Mm -hmm. We don't believe, uh, we believe in fighting for our democratic space. If you look at uh, the communities in this uh, country, mm -hmm. one community that is very democratic is uh, the Mulembe Nation. Mm -hmm. And then being democratic, people have always said that we are not united. Mm -hmm. And I've always sat down to look at the narrative of unity, and, I've never, uh, and I failed to understand, does voting in one basket define unity? Mm -hmm. Or when I leave, with my brother in the same land without fighting, is that unity or disunity? Because mm -hmm. from where I come from, mm -hmm. if you go to, uh, to, to, to Western Kenya, mm -hmm. we have uh, the, 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 the entire counties, eh? mm -hmm. someone in, 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 in uh, Kakamega mm -hmm. can easily live in Bungoma, mm -hmm. can easily live in, in Viga, can easily live in Busia. Mm -hmm. We interact freely. But when it comes to our, to, uh, when exercising our democratic rights, we know how to exercise our democratic rights. Mm -hmm. We are not people who just follow the wind, eh? okay? Mm -hmm. Just for the sake of following the wind, okay? So, and since time memorial, we've seen how the voting has always been in the Western Kenya. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a king, and we don't, and I've always said this, we don't desire to have a king. Because when we have a king, mm -hmm. then we shall turn out to worshipping this person the way other communities are doing. Mm -hmm. And then when it will come a time of the weeping, mm -hmm. you know, you'll, see, you'll feel like you are being punished. You feel like your person is being targeted, your community is being targeted. You've always had those, those uh, narrations. Mm -hmm. That, oh, my person is being targeted. Oh, how many lawyer people who have been in high profile positions have you seen mm -hmm. being uh, disciplined over misconduct, gross misconduct? There are so many. And how many lawyer people have you seen on the streets crying that you are targeting our community? Uh, but if you ever, if you've ever, ever seen one, then mention. Okay? Had, I, I, we, I think we, I'm, I'm going to mention we one, had, we the, had, the CS. We had Nancy Baraza, we had Nancy Baraza <laughs> uh -huh. the Deputy Chief Justice. Chief Justice yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
when there was a, a violation of uh, gross misconduct, what, what happened? Did you see the lawyers on the streets demonstrating? Did you see them even going to media stations and saying that uh, our community is being targeted? Mm -hmm. No, because we believe in the rule of law. And that is how it is. Sometimes back, we, we, we saw Honorable Musalia being enthroned to be uh, the person for the for the Luya community. And this was done by one and only uh, Mr. Atwali. And he has done it again uh, to someone else. So it has, has Musalia been stripped of his powers in uh, the Luya community? To answer that, eh, that was uh, political in 20, it was in 2016. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was political so that to plan for the political realignment mm -hmm. okay of that time 2017 and you saw how it was mm -hmm. now i was i've been following even yesterday uh, night i was uh, following the conversations on twitter on uh, atoli statement mm -hmm. what uh, at, when davadi issued a statement regarding the coup in ford kenya mm -hmm. And Atoli said it clearly, he has nothing to do mm -hmm. with the coup in Ford, Kenya. Right. And Mudavadi is still our leader. Okay? Let him lead us. That is from his Twitter mm -hmm. handle. And you can still, you can go and search it, it is there. Mm -hmm. That is from his Twitter handle. Atoli himself saying that. So, he's the one who instilled eh? Mudavadi as the leader of the Luya community. Mm -hmm. He still believes in Devadi is uh, the leader, and from his own statements, mm -hmm. okay, he says they are going. Th these are the leaders who are going to be used to negotiate government whatever projects and other machineries, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. government developments. That's why he has Lusaka and uh, those other things. The, okay, those are political statements in one or the other. In one or uh, the other, they are coded. Mm -hmm. You can say so, and uh, from his own statements, he still believes Devadi is still the leader. The mm -hmm. leader okay mm -hmm. so he still states that i'm still on my word i've not washed away or wished away mdavadi i still respect him as my leader mm -hmm. okay that is what if i can read and uh, interpret his statements from his twitter handle that mm -hmm. is what he has tried to mean so what was happening uh, last week was a showbiz uh, what i can say that uh, those are political uh, uh, arrangements that are there just on matters to do with the BBI, mm -hmm. on matters to do with the handshake. And then you see there's, uh, on that, it, this, these are some of the things that happened in 202. Mm -hmm. You saw how uh, political parties, uh, when a change of guard was coming, that is from Kanu, mm -hmm. we see we are going to have a change of guard. Mm -hmm. Now, you saw how parties, even NDP for Raila, joined the Kanu in a skia, Jogo in a Tinga. <laughs> so those are some of the things, those are the alignments that always happen. Mm -hmm. You saw in uh, 2012, there was a G7 alliance, if, mm -hmm. you, if you can remember, where mm -hmm. all, almost all political parties were now folding to be in one place. All the, the, the political leaders were clinging around the president just to seek that mercy of endorsement from the president. Mm -hmm. Okay, So these are some of the things that always happen at the change of guard. And believe me or not, this is, these are the things that are happening today. Come 2027, everybody will be on their own. But come 2032, uh, you, you will see together. now the uh, politicians regrouping themselves. Why? The same things I talked of last week, the political indiscipline that we have in this country, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. The political indiscipline has led to this. Parties don't believe in their own ideology. They believe in an, in an individual, mm -hmm. not political ideology. Okay. If we can have parties uh, compared to ANC of South Africa, whereby they believe in their own ideology. Have you seen any political party leader from EFF joining ANC of South Africa? Or the, 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 the other party that comes always second, uh, it is always the, the DB award, that comes second in South Africa, joining the, 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 the ruling party? No, because they believe and they subscribe to their own manifesto and ideology. Mm -hmm. Come to Tanzania, CCM, we have CCM, we have Chadema, we have Kafu, we have other small political parties, okay? Mm -hmm. But there's no day CCM or Kafu or Chadema has left its own ideology just to join together, hands together with mm -hmm. CCM, mm -hmm. okay? They work on their own. Even Ghana, the, the other day, they, they, they decided to work in the same, same direction. And mm -hmm. you see they, they are working. The opposition works in the, on, on its own way. 
and the ruling party works in their own way. Everybody believes and subscribes their own ideology. Okay, unlike in Kenya, we've taken democracy to be a tool whereby you can trade and do business with. That's why political parties are at times breakfast parties. Uh, actually, you you have brought about the issue of poly, uh, parties and what is befalling or what has befallen. Uh, Moses Wetangula. I, I don't know what is happening to, to him or what happened to the party. Uh, maybe if you could explain how did he find himself there and what he's being accused of. Do they stand uh, the you see, uh, one, from my own perspective, the thing is this, eh? you see, uh, you cannot you cannot write off Raila Amolo Odinga the moment that he's not going to survive for presidency. And one thing you should know that he has to arrange and make uh, make sure that he has foot soldiers in one way or the other. Remember, it is rectangular when they were in code. He stood and said, I'm going to vie for presidency, okay, mm -hmm. on code. Mm -hmm. But things came and changed. NASA came, then code died. Mm -hmm. So there was no code. So NASA was there. Mm -hmm. So there was so they believed there was those short changings. Okay? Now when we are going to twenty twenty two Mm -hmm. still wants. The, uh, he cannot say that he has given up from the presidency. No, mm -hmm. he's still Although looking he forward. He is still looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when he's still looking forward to that, he looks at who am I going to work with? Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, Wetangula. He fought hard to ensure there is no ODM uh, seat in Bungoma for parliamentary. Which is true. If you go back to Bungoma, we all the parties that are there, it is ANC, we have Jubilee, mm -hmm. we have Ford Kenya. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's no ODM MP from Bungoma. MCAs are like four or five MCAs from Bungoma, okay, mm -hmm. on ODM ticket. So these are some of the things somebody sits down and says, This is a person who has fought me and has made me not even lose seats in Bungoma. Okay, mm -hmm. and like now, let me take the sympathizers or somebody whom we we'll work with so that I, I get back or I bounce back mm -hmm. having seats in this county. Okay, so these are some of the mathematics somebody sits down to calculate. You see, when you are sparring for something for, tr for the future, you mm -hmm. need to start working now. So these are some of the strategies that are being used. The other day, uh, the two, three days ago, we saw uh, Raila Odinga meeting with Flo Amnini, Eugene Wamalwa, and uh, SNC Miu saying they were discussing development agenda for the Western people. Okay? Mm -hmm. But back my mind, I knew there was something cooking. There so some this, of the is the, were not there. This, this is the development that they were discussing. Whatever happened yesterday, that the development that they were discussing. So <laughs> much we cannot talk about. Mm -hmm. so we are still looking and uh, awaiting on uh, a skeleton called the Political Parties Act, which I've always had a problem with because mm -hmm. it does never execute its own mandate. Okay. It is not independent the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. it is uh, an independent that follows directions and instructions from a certain angle. Mm -hmm. So this. This is, this is one of the problems that we have in this country, the Political Parties Act. If the Political Parties Act will step up and play its role the way it's supposed to play as per the Constitution, mm -hmm. then the political parties in this, in, in this country will become institutions and not individuals. Mm -hmm. Because as I've always said, these political parties, when they become institutions, these youth whom they are used, they use always during the, the political time eh, mm -hmm. to... to, to how to throw stones, to shout on the road, okay? They will be employed by these political parties, okay? Because if you have a very nice structure of a political party, then most youth will be employed, okay? Mm -hmm. So when we talk of employment, when I'm not, because just I'm a political party leader, I talk of unemployment, I talk, and within my political party I'm doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Then I'm just misleading this country. I'm just misleading Kenyans, and mm -hmm. I'm just taking Kenyans for a fool. It is high time Kenyans should realize mm -hmm. that they are just being used for a fool. They need to rise up. They need to do what is right. Mm -hmm. And what I keep on saying, the Political Parties Act should play to its role. All right. Now, uh, after the, pol the political parties have, form uh, have been formed and everyone has come on board, they will look into an election. And right now, we are looking to 
maybe uh, just maybe uh, the constitutional amendment and if we could look to the statement that was uh, made by uh, Honorable Mudavadi on the status of IBC remember this is an institution that is supposed to be independent but every time there is a question of uh, elections it is questioned and uh, I don't know how you make uh, about the sentiments by Honorable Mudavadi saying we cannot trust the IBC. This is a statement that we've had over time, every time we are close to the elections. elections. Very true. Does it mean we will never have a clean IEBC? And if that is the matter, who appoints these people into office? Thank you. Uh, constitutionally, IBC should be independent as per the constitution of 2010. We used to have ECK. Mm -hmm whereby ECK was just but uh, a body that was being appointed by the president, okay? But now IBC is a rigorous process whereby it has to go through parliament, then uh, goes through the, the president. The, the, the president, uh, there's those people send their CVs, after sending their CVs, they are shortlisted, they go for the interview, after going for the interview, then uh, they are recommended, their recommendation made to send to the president, okay? Mm -hmm. Then the president appoints, then the parliament approves, okay? Mm -hmm. Then after that, the swearing Thank in you. of the commissioners and uh, the staff. But whatever is happening right now, you see politicians, that are, as I've said, politicians are taking Kenyans for a ride. Because right now, there are very few who are calling upon the IBC mm -hmm. to be changed, okay? Mm -hmm. And there are those ones who are not doing so. But they will shout more, okay, mm -hmm. when the election will come and find out that they are not on the, uh, the, they are on the receiving end, okay, mm -hmm. and not getting whatever they expected. So this is to mean IEBC will become evil during the elections, but the referendum uh, IBC, question, it's okay. Oh, IBC is always evil mm -hmm. and times of elections. And that one, sit down, do your analysis, try and check. When does IBC become e evil? When is it that when people, f at what time do people sit down and start fighting on how to have their own people, mm -hmm. the people they control at IBC? Because each and every person wants their own person at IBC mm -hmm. so that this person will a be able to favor them, okay? These are the wrangles that we saw even in 2017. The IBC itself didn't have that cooperation. This way, Chebukati is speaking this way, Chiroba is speaking this way. Okay, mm -hmm. there was a lot of confusion in IBC. The same, same confusion we still anticipate it mm -hmm. if the changes are not going to be made. Okay, mm -hmm. when we cry fall of something, then we should step up and work to ensure that mm -hmm. the thing that you are talking about is well managed mm -hmm. for prosperity, not for my sake, but for also the other generation to come. Right. So, what we always cry for change, okay, to suit ourselves. Mm -hmm. and not for the other people mm -hmm. who will come and enjoy the same same fruits mm -hmm. so we are very selfish so we cry for all of things when they don't suit us but when they suit us we don't cry we are comfortable we sit down and relax and eat whatever we are getting mm -hmm. so that's the challenge we are having in this country uh, uh, with uh, with the chances chances of having the uh, referendum amendment or the referendum coming up soon uh, we, uh honorable Ray said reggae hasn't stopped it will still continue. If the amendment will go through referendum, do you think it's just about time we should look into changing the uh, officials at the IBC right now, or them that are there should be given more powers? Uh, what I can say, in fact, IBC itself, I think it has three commissioners only. The rest are not there. So it's already, it's a lame institution, which needs, first of all, to be... Uh, to be filled the way it's supposed to be as per the constitution. Mm -hmm. But right now, IBC itself, and you see the same IBC has conducted how many by-elections so far? A number of by-elections, mm -hmm. okay? That have still favored the same people who come and cry, okay? So these changes were needed even before the, the, the referendum thing, mm -hmm. even before any other, any, any other thing that was uh, in need, okay? Mm -hmm. so, when we cry fall of IBC, when we are looking at the referendum, then we are saying we are looking at something that is going to suit our interest. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because mm -hmm. if it remains the way it is, then the people will still cry. The results will come out, people will cry, as usual. Mm -hmm. yeah? 
So what should happen right now is to ensure we have good uh, mechanism in place to ensure that IBC is independent. The eye should not be silent, but the eye should be very active, okay? okay. To, to show the independence of IBC. Okay. But as it stands right now, I, I cannot, you cannot differentiate between IBC and ECK. Mm -hmm. The only thing that differentiates them are the people and the name. This okay. was the Electoral Commission and there is the independent, elect whatever, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the only difference. All right, uh, maybe as we come to a close, Many young people right now are forming their groups. They, I have seen, I have met a number of them coming up with their political parties. I've had others having their ideas on how they want to have a political party that is different from what we are used to or what they have learned from our so mentors, we could say. How with these things that are happening right now, edge into the youth how, how how will they get now to learn and maybe the changes they want to bring on board be completely different from what we have seen uh is it about the ideologies you've, you've been mentioning and actually how can the youth now align themselves to ensure that when they come on board or when they come to campaign themselves uh, a year later from now how would things be uh what i can say is that uh and i still go back to my word eh? the Political Parties Act should step up to their role. Because for only, it is only in Kenya whereby a, a senior politician mm -hmm. will come and uh, go aside, get a number of people, mm -hmm. create some cocoon political parties, okay, so that to cause destruction, okay, in a favor that will favor him or, uh, or them in one or the other. What I can talk, and I'm talking as a youth, the only thing we need to do in this country is to align ourselves with the desired political parties. And it is better to fight when you are within, unlike when you are out. You'll, be very, you'll, you'll have a sound voice when you are within the system, unlike when you are outside the system. Because when the youths now will step up and demand that the political parties act should step up to their role, one, we shall see discipline in political parties, okay? Mm -hmm. Two, we shall see a number of youth getting employed. If the political parties will follow the rules that are there within the constitution, mm -hmm. that each and every political party should have an, an office, a running office, mm -hmm. uh, almost 25 counties, okay, to make it national. Then this, tell me, how many youth are going to be employed? In the 25 counties a number of youths from the national level to the county level mm -hmm. from the county level to the grassroots level mm -hmm. so these are people who are going to be employed so employment has already been created how many monies go to political parties let us let's say in 20 in 2012 20, 2013 20, mm -hmm. money was allocated to jubilee you are tna urp odm and uh, also a wiper, okay? Mm -hmm. These are the parties that, that go to the, the lion's share. Now, in 2017, money has been allocated to Jubilee ODM. Not a million, but billions of money. Mm -hmm. What are these monies used to? What are these monies supposed to do? These monies are supposed to uh, ensure the offices are running in the 25 counties. People are employed. Mm -hmm. to manage the offices, okay? Because there is always an office, there is always an executive, okay? Mm -hmm. Whereby we have those people who are elected to manage the political affairs, and there are those people who are employed in the office mm -hmm. to ensure the office is up and running. So these are some of the things that we need to sit down and ensure they are there. Mm -hmm. So it is not a matter of you running and forming a political party that will, will, will after five years, you will also still see, uh, I'm not getting what I wanted. I still need to form another political party because this one has not fulfilled my desires. Mm -hmm. that, is, that will be the trend. Mm -hmm. So the only thing we can do at the moment as youths let us align ourselves with the political parties that subscribe to our ideology because each and every person has their own ideology mm -hmm. and these parties have ideologies and manifesto so sit down read a manifesto of each and every political party then find yourself where you suit 
Find yourself where you belong. Then align yourself with that political party. Then get a group of people whom you reason the same. Then fight from within. S uh, state your grievances. Mm -hmm. Okay? Explain what you want. Then come out. When the youths come out in large numbers, mm -hmm. who are from different political parties, okay, mm -hmm. demanding their rights as the youth within the political parties, then this country will change. But if I say I want to go and form a party, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. it will just be a vehicle that I'll use and be paid some monies, okay, after I've been paid monies, will I remember those people whom who I'm working with? No, it will be me. Not. But do, do, don't you think when they do this, they will find an established system where they can't voice? Uh, everything we have right now was uh, long established. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that has never been established. If we could take so, ODM for an example. Yes. Someone very fresh goes in there and start uh, saying, if we could, only we could change this, how many people would listen to that person? And you see, the person who wants to go and form a political party, mm -hmm. let me tell you now the truth, is not a person from a campus who just graduated the other day. This is a person who has been on the poli in, in the same political party. Either from the grassroots or from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. This is a person so it, it is who the has been of ideas. Yes, this is a person who has aligned himself in a political party maybe for a, a very long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, but mm -hmm. the problem is when we don't come out to speak. Okay, or when we feel if I speak, I want to be heard. So mm -hmm. I want to go there so that I can be heard. This is the challenge that we have in the society. Mm -hmm. It's just us to step up. Okay, mm -hmm. I belong to a certain political party. Let me go and marshal other youths and speak up, okay? Mm -hmm. If we do this consistently, mm -hmm. uh, believe me or not, mm -hmm. change will be there. All right, uh, let's uh, jump to a different matter. As we are fighting COVID-19, a lot is happening in the political arena. And now, the MCAs <laughs> in this country have spent their whole budget for the year in just six months. What is this? Uh, the problem we have uh, with uh, our elected MCAs is that uh, they lack priorities. That is one thing. And then, when they lack priorities, mm -hmm. what took them to their offices was monies, mm -hmm. nothing else. Because the county assemblies that you see today, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. they are not working as per the constitution. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to ensure that devolution is up to task. But what they are doing, they are just there, they get the little thing, they go. They get 10,000, they go. They are hungry people, okay? What, we don't have leaders. We don't have leadership in them. They are just there to eat. Then, after that, they are done. So how, how, how many bills have we had that have sponsored in the even county assemblies that has gone through, mm -hmm. that will benefit the common manage? For devolution to work, mm -hmm. we need serious people in the, or in, the, in the county assemblies. Mm -hmm. We don't need hungry people. We need serious and focused people. Because if each and every county assembly will articulate its mandate, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you this country will be very much developed. Because we have health, we have education, we have all, all these offices, mm -hmm. okay? Whatever we have at the national level are the some or similar things we have mm -hmm. at, the, at the county level. So they need to work together. Okay, they need to ensure that money is allocated, the budget is well managed, okay, and the money is allocated, it is well distributed to the, to the people down there. Now, I, I, in my understanding, I, I know this money was allocated for them to spend for the all here, but now uh, six months down the line, what contributed them to have all these sittings? Uh, is there a crisis other than the COVID that you are fighting? Is it the reason they were into sittings and now the allowances, they have spent everything? What emergencies were they solving? And that's why I've told you, there's no emergency they were solving. It's because they were hungry. Okay? And they were looking They at came up with policies yes, they just came to up have with, them sit. Yes, they just came up with reasons that will make them sit. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that they can have that mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. Remember, their salaries, their salaries mm -hmm. is always, always deducted on mortgages, and the car, car loans they always get. Mm -hmm. So you, most of them go home with even a thousand shillings mm -hmm. on the pay slip, mm -hmm. okay? So they are looking at what will make me sustain myself the, the next day. Mm -hmm. Now they realize we have, we have committees. So let, let, let us use the committees, let us come up with the mechanisms, let us come up with agendas, mm -hmm. okay? As long as people will see that you have seated, then there's already a sitting allowance. <laughs> so 
I love just to sit for me to get that sitting allowance. I'll create something for me to get that sitting allowance. Mm -hmm. so, and this is why I say we need to get good leaders mm -hmm. that who are able, who know the, their roles in the society. Not just people who are hungry, who are just there to eat and then forget. All right, finally, what do you make of the uh, Dr. Ruto's appointment to the global leadership? Uh, the, the, the thing I can make is that congratulate the deputy president mm -hmm. and ask him to execute his roles mm -hmm. and mandate the way it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. That's the, the only thing I can say to him. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, do you think it, it gives him an upper hand in the politics? Yeah, yeah. It gives, it, it gives him an upper hand. Uh, mm -hmm. One is now going to interact and relate with other global leaders. Okay, so it gives him that upper hand in one way or the other because the relationship, net, there's one thing in leadership, networking and good relations with other, with other people. Mm -hmm. So that one gives you a plus in one way or the other. Okay, then what I also can say also on what is happening in the, in the US, mm -hmm. the same thing if we cannot manage our country today, there's only one thing that mm -hmm. will happen. And after it will happen, people will go to the streets. You cannot tell me what is happening today in the U.S. It's only about the death of George Floyd. No. Mm -hmm. People were tired. People were crying. And no one was listening to them. Mm -hmm. But they have decided to use this mm -hmm. as a stepping stone. They have decided to use the death of this guy, the, 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 of this guy mm -hmm. as a way to now express their, their, their grievances. Mm -hmm. They are burning things in the U.S. They are destroying things in the U.S. because of the anger mm -hmm. they have had and stored for a long time. The same thing will happen in this country. People are oppressed. People are crying. And no one is listening to them. Mm -hmm. So one day, something small will happen and it will trigger uh, demonstrations in this country that the president will decide to hide the way Trump has been <laughs> hidden somewhere mm. in, in the safety place in, uh, in, in White House. hope it doesn't happen here in our country. No, it will happen. If, if, if things still stand the way they stand, eh? if things remain the way they are, the leadership becomes complacent, it will happen. Because many people are really, really suffering. Many people are crying. But the only way to get out, they don't have a way to get out. Mm -hmm. So when something will happen, okay. they will get out. And they will use that. All right. Thank you, Silas, for coming and uh, all the ideas you have put uh, in, in that particular space. Now.